we're going to the Arboretum uh, project that is the centennial project for the Milwaukee uh, Rotary Club and uh, it's one in which they take great pride. It's going to be a tremendous project. The thing I like about this project and the other centennial projects that I've seen, they're highly visible projects and that's so important to the future of Rotary that the citizens of the community know what ro Rotary Clubs do. As you know, this is a very historic undertaking uh, here in the community. It's a partnership between the Milwaukee uh, Rotary Club of Milwaukee, the Urban Ecology Center, the Milwaukee Urban River Foundation, the River Revitalization Foundation, the City of Milwaukee, and the County of Milwaukee. I just need to repeat how much gratitude we have um, here at the Ecology Center and the community as a whole for the work that you do and the, and the vision that you uh, have and have shared with us. It was really your initial gift of $400,000 that got this going. Well, I think it's a culmination, but it's also a beginning. This is really the first tangible kickoff where we've had people assembled at the site, and I think it's a great, uh, it's a great day for Rotary. It's going to be a special area for children and for adults, and uh, it's something that we can all be proud of. I'm a fourth generation Rotarian, and uh, Look forward to keeping traditions on. This is a great, uh, great way to honor, you know, Milwaukee Rotary and Rotary, and uh, good for the community. I think it's great when uh, when the Milwaukee Rotary Club undertakes a great civic project, and uh, and that's what Rotary is all about, uh, the fellowship and the, and the civic responsibility. And I think this epitomizes uh, what Rotary is all about. Business and government don't always work together as well as we could. Uh, but when we do talk about what we need to achieve as common goals, we talk about the education of our children and we talk about worker retention. And I think this will allow us to do both. So I think it's, it's, a, it's a huge investment and, um, and I don't think we as a club you know, fully you know, appreciate the ramifications of what it is that we're doing. But uh, you know, 50 years down the road, another 100 years down the road, it'd be awesome. I uh, live for fly fishing. I'm an avid fly fisherman. I think it, uh, when I'm fly fishing uh, in a river, I'm in another world, and I think that uh, this would be a wonderful, uh, uh, wonderful sport for um, kids to learn, and uh, I'd love to teach them, and, and uh, I just think it, uh, it would open up a, a, a venue for these kids that uh, they have never seen before. Well, it's really a big deal because this whole river corridor, um, we've been part of with nonprofits, ourselves, the city, really trying to preserve it. And with the Urban Ecology Center, they have just been the lifeblood and a catalyst to um, really create that next generation of conservationists. And not only are we reaching out to youth, but we're reaching out to, to all of our community in this area. And with the generosity of the Rotary Club, and the generosity of others with the, with the property, it, it's continuing that corridor. And I salute you for this project. It's outstanding. I think it assures the continuation of the spirit of Rotary, of fellowship and service, well into the next century and after that as well. So thank you for your contribution to the community. Thank you for doing what Rotary Clubs do best, which is building communities and bridging commons. Thanks so much.